Rupert concentrating on uh, uploading a video and uh, hurry to start the class. It's OK. No problem. I will explain it again. <laughs> OK, so because you can refer, right? So CPU, RAM, IO controller, IO controller. OK, IO controller connects devices and identify the devices by name or a numbering kind of stuff. So I will control connects the devices and take the data means control the flow of data as per the system and load the data into your RAM. RAM load the data into your CPU and CPU once done its process, give it to your RAM only. So RAM give the output to your I will controller. I will controller present on it. For example, it is a print output. It go to printer only. It is a uh, uh, output on, sh on the screen. It go to monitor only. Okay, like that. So I will control knows. So you wait to present this data. So that is it. So when you are connecting your RAM to CPU, you are not connecting directly. Again, you are connecting through cache memory. You are connecting through cache memory. So this is how it is connected. So what is this cache memory? So what is this cache memory? Cache memory is a very simple, they say it is a memory. It is nothing but SRAM memory. SRAM means static RAM only. Okay, it is nothing but a static RAM only. It's a pure form of transistor. It is a faster than a DRAM. Okay, it is faster than DRAM. It's a fast memory. Faster as a the CPU speed. Okay, fast as a CPU speed. And if you don't use cache memory for regular memory kind of stuff, okay, there is a L1, L1, L2, L3 cache memories are there. Okay, L3 memory is always a varies like a 1 MB, 2 MB. Uh, 4 MB, okay, maybe a 6 MB, maybe a 9 MB, okay, so like this. Excuse me, sir, what is this L1, L2, L3? Levels, cache memory levels. Actually, level means not, it is actually not very good. Uh, the question is, level is, is simply say, uh, which is near, for example, L1 cache near to your original CPU. Okay, CPU what? But cache is inside, but very near to the CPU. L2 cache next. Okay. Uh, I will take another uh, one so you can see. Like this. So, for example, L1, L2, L3. Okay, the size, uh, cache memory types. So, uh, sizes, uh, variations. Are there so L1 is near to CPU, L2 is next, L3 is finally. So L3 is interacts simply say L3 is usually outside, which is directly connected to your RAM. L1 is inside of your uh, cache memory means, which is CPU side. L2 is in between. In a certain processor, L2 not be there. Okay, in And CPUs L3 Apache may not may not may not have okay. So what sorry it is you, if you understand point that is important at the sentence. Certain CPUs okay, so does not have. CPUs may not have cache L3 cache memory. May not has or may not have certain L3 cache memories. So that is keeping them. L1, L2 is compulsory, is there. So L1 is usually uh, 64 bytes, standard one. So no, no, not changes. Okay, 64 kilobytes. Okay. 
So 64 KB. Uh, this is a 256 KB. Okay. So usually L2 may changes, but L1 is usually fixed. That is the cache memory. How to check your yeah. system's cache memory? What it is? How to check systems cache memory? That is also important, right? So how to check the cache memory? So go to task manager. You can find task manager by right clicking here. So on the taskbar, so task manager, you can open task manager anyways, but open the task manager, go to performance, click on CPU, performance, click on CPU. There you can find L1, L2, L3 cache memory. So I think I written in wrong way. Okay, I will, I will change it again. Okay. So this is your L1, L2, L3 cache memories. It is depends upon processor to processor. It may changes. Okay. So like this. So I give given uh, 64K, 256K B, but I have a 128K, 512K and 3MB L3 cache memory. Okay. So this is how to basically you can easily check your. Uh, so I'm putting example from my system only. I have a three MB. It is not a standard, guys. So you have to verify uh, all other uh, different type of CPUs. Okay, but L3 catch is much bigger than uh, all other type of catches. So what is the use of catchy? Go to task manager. Go to task manager. Performance. And find cash mode. What is the use of this cache memory, guys? When you see the picture, whenever the data is loading from your I/O devices, hard disk, or anything, whenever the data is loading from outside to your RAM, so RAM load the data, RAM load the data, and uh, and take so it load the data means it take the data and instructions and give it to your CPU. But RAM speed is different. CPU speed is different. RAM speed is different. CPU speed is different. CPU is a higher. RAM is lower. So it is a speed mismatches possibility is there. So what we are doing, we are loading into cache memory. Instead of directly loading into CPU, we load the data and instructions into your cache memory, the cache memory load, load the data into CPU. So that is the advantage of cache memory. So cache memory usually speed up the system. Cache memory actually speed up the system. If you take like a, you know, uh, some people will tell it is a four gigahertz processor, five gigahertz processor, uh, multi-core processor, deca-core processor, hexa-core processor, uh, penta-core processor, whatever. What are the processor it is? If cache memory is less, it is speed is also automatically less because the cache memory load the data and give the data into data the processor. So it is actually speed up the data transmission so that is cache memory is very important load data and instructions from ram and uh, give it to 
CPU. And so answer it is load data and instructions from CPU and we give it to RAM. Okay, RAM to devices. Around our work controller through IO controller, so it will go to the devices. So like that it is. Okay. So that much I want to tell. Okay. Next guys. Next about a CPU. When it is a CPU, you must check few things. So first of all, bit. First of all, which bit? That is a bit or a 64 bit. So that is called a bit line. Or we can say architecture. Architecture. So it is 32 bit. Sir. Yeah, tell me. Hello, sir. Sir, sometimes Hello. we can say that uh, catch a notification in Chrome, sir. What is that? What is the notification? When we are browsing something, we can say that catch a notification. Allow our block. I don't, I, if I don't see. Catch notification. Catch a notification, sir. Catch a notification. Chrome or Google give instruction, sir. Would you allow or block this catch a note? Catch a sir. That is actually different. I think it's cookies, not catchy. Yeah. Catch also all kind. Catch a. So he is asking about a browser catch. Yeah, okay, okay, I got it, but uh, how it is look like? Uh, I didn't show. Yeah, it will be there. Uh, what are it is? Um, what, uh, it is. So look at here. It uh, is actually we... CAPTCHA. CAPTCHA? CAPTCHA. CAPTCHA is different. He's asking about CAPTCHA, sir. So CAT is different, no? Yeah, this is CAPTCHA. Uh, Completely CAPTCHA. automated public running test to tell computer and human apart. Okay. The CAPTCHA is different. CAPTCHA is different. CATCH is different. CATCH uh, is different. Okay. So browser okay, sir, CATCH okay. is also same. CATCH type only. Browser cache is CPU cache. The meaning of cache is uh, usually I tell a story. Uh, I think people are liking or not. That's why I am not doing that. Yet. So story is will go like this. This is a cricket field because I, I don't play the cricket. So I am not um, I am not play the cricket and as well as I don't watch the cricket also. Very very occasionally. Okay. So, so this is the batsman bowler put a ball then the, this guy hit the ball ball went some distance someone got the ball okay someone got the ball so what this guy will do he try to throw the ball he will throw throw the ball to the wicket keeper or anyone Very good. So he, if he is very less wicket, distance, sir. less distance, throw the ball to the wickets. Wicket keeper. More distance, ah. wicket keeper, no. or Why maybe a person. Okay, someone in the fielding who is very near to the wickets, you will throw the ball to him only. Why? Because of he will easily catch the ball, and he can able to take the hit. He can take the wicket. Okay, this guy is a catchy person. Okay, this guy is a 
क्या है पर्सन लाइक विकेट कीपर आर ए पर्सन हु इज नियर टू द विकेट्स इज अ कैच ई पर्सन ओके सो इट इज एक्यूरेट हिट विल बी अकर्स अदरवाइज व्हाट हैपन आई थ्रो द बॉल बॉल वेंट टू एक्चुअली दिस गाइस आर प्लानिंग फॉर वन रन सिंगल रन बट इट मे बी बिकम अ फोर रन्स आल्सो पॉसिबिलिटी इज देयर ओके सो व्हाट आई एम गोइंग टू डू इज दिस इज लाइक दैट so who is the catchy the catchy means it take the data and give the data to the processor okay it is for easy quick response purpose fasting the processing purpose faster response giving purpose it don't make the cpu ideal okay okay it not make cpu ideal Keep keep you busy, or we can say not kept in ideal condition. It means waiting for a sudden change of data is not there. Okay, so and another important things are here. It is. Um, CPU when it is look at a CPU bit length or instruction length are like the 32 bit of processor 64 bit processor so when it is come to 32 bit and 64 there is a difference between 32 bit and 64 difference is there so what is the difference between 32 bit and 64 bit guys instruction length is 32 bit in 32 bit processor 64 bit in a 64 bit so processor and 64 bit in 64 bit processor instruction length is there it is means length of instruction is increases it means we can give big size instructions it can able to process big size instructions big size instructions are possible 128 bit is ipv6 only 128 bit processors are there but not there in a public mode okay so if there is a certain processors are there okay certain processors are there not it's a regular processors okay so 32 bit 64 bit so so current processors are available in the market and data bus link uh, the data bus link address uh, bus is also 32 bit 64 bit size so bit length is 32 bit or 64 bit so um, the difference between 32 bit and 64 bit the bit length or instruction length is 32 bit 64 bit okay guys next step. so anyway when it is come to 32 bit 64 bit so there is a certain futures wise 64 having certain futures for example virtualization okay hardware virtualization so intel okay so intel or amd uh, virtualization is there Okay, Intel or AMD virtualization there. Virtualization, sorry, um, Intel uh, VTX feature in AMD, AMD V feature. Virtualization feature is there. Nowadays we are getting. UEFI instead of BIOS also we are getting nowadays it's not a um, very old kind of stuff it is nowadays you are getting UEFI instead of BIOS that feature only available in a 64 bit virtualization feature is there hardware virtualization feature is there that is also available in a 64 okay multi core
processors possible okay so multiple cross processors are coming uh, nowadays so right like that so that is uh, advantage of that one okay but we need a big ram size due to size of instruction and data is increases so we need a big ram sizes big processing sizes also there so but you can do the complex computing okay complex instructions also you can able to easily run it why because of 64 bit guys i will give you one list so then we can understand like uh, your hardware means your cpu is 32 bit look at so cpu is 32 bit um your operating system must be 32 bit next every device every system has a device drivers okay your device drivers must be 32 bit and your applications also 32 bit so the compatibilities you have to check it like this it is 32 bit CPU, it means you must use 32 bit operating system only. And you should use compulsory 32 bit drivers only and 32 bit applications only. Of course, you can use 16 bit applications on a 32 bit also. You can use 32, 16 bit applications on a 32 bit. So you can use it by you may need a wow 32 to run 16 bit application on 32 so what is wow is windows 16 on windows 32 it is nothing but a supporting application for 16 bit application to run 16 bit application on a 32 bit it's simply it support 32 16 bit application to run on a 32 bit hardware 32 bit hardware sixty four sixty four bit processor means sixty four bit operating system compulsory next sixty four bit drivers compulsory. 64 bit applications are compulsory and also you can use 32 bit application with a service called a POV64 in windows so it's the only facilities in windows Okay. In sixty four device driver signature must. This must. Guys, if you don't understand what is a drivers or a driver or a drivers, so very simply say uh, you have a hardware, operating system interacts with your hardware and work with your hardware. Like you want to play a music, the music is a software, means the song which is in your system is nothing but a software, right? It's a file, it is software. And application we are using, that is also software. But the sound uh, should be generated so the the conversion and uh, interact with your sound chip means audio chip your audio chip not understand by your operating system the audio chip is not understand by operating system so what to do 
need a drivers drivers are nothing but a piece of software drivers are nothing but a software only this software will uh, uh, make a communication between your operating system and your application to hardware device like i have a wifi adapter or a maybe wired adapter is there or maybe a printer is there i want to take a print how to interact with the printer my operating system or my application don't know how to interact with the printer that particular model printer so what i need i need a piece of software so make a communication between my laptop to my printer so what is that piece of software we call it as driver okay so that is these are the compulsory you should follow there's a few more things uh, okay sorry sir and discuss this is about your cpu in cpu also you can keep telling so many things uh, but uh, something i am missing yeah i'm not missing anything so 32 bit 64 bit so compulsory check the architecture compulsory check the architecture 32 bit processor or a 64 bit processor next you have to check nowadays number of cores number of cores check two core processor three core four core processor six core processor it can be a two core processor four core processor or six core processor check it next number of threads number of threads check it check compulsory number of threads next one is clock speed okay usually clock speed is like this it will shows see i am showing performance cpu only clock speed is 2.6 gigahertz one socket means single processor cores are to logical processor or a four okay mine is two core processor but logical processor are four okay clock speed is 2.6 gigahertz clock speed is it due of course your first the front side bus is also there front side bus fsb front side bus bsb is a back side bus what is this fsb okay data transmission speed excuse me sir what is known as fsb front side bus means what sir yeah that's i'm typing the data transfer speed or a connection it is cpu to ram bus so data transmission between cpu to ram cpu to ram bus is a fsb data transmission speed of fsb is must equal to ram's clock speed okay that is you have to check it i am telling so many things not so many things but these are things mainly minimum you should know it guys what are it is it's a cpu central processing unit there is a two types 32 bit type of processor is there 64 bit processor is there different type of manufacturers intel amd motorola manufacturers are there next one is every processor has a cache memory so look at the cache memory the higher the cache memory the better the performance next earlier we have a single processors are there 
nowadays we are having a multi core processors like a two core processor four core processor are there and the threads are so there it means two core processor is like a become a four core processor like multi multi core processor type clock speeds also mentioned means the clock speed means data transmission speed the clock speed is nothing but a bsv speed backside bus what is a backside bus means cpu to uh, cache memory the data transmission speed is cpu actual speed is a clock speed or a bsv this is a original cpu speed it but cpu to ram communication through the fsb front side bus the data transmission of front side bus is must be equal to ram's clock speed so you must select the ram based on the fsb of cpu okay and make sure that virtualization feature is there or not okay make sure that virtualization feature is there or not that's it that's about your cpu and of course there is a heat sink heat sink paste kind of stuff is there i am not going for that one okay um next part i will discuss about a ram and rom okay just the basics only i will uh, tell ram and rom okay so what is ram what is rom what is bios three things we will discuss so what i want to do is so take a break relax and uh, listen very carefully okay so i am stopping record here